after you suspended Kareem uh, for two games for violating team rules. You said it was nothing malicious. Did you learn anything about him in that process? Well, I think you always learn about people when things don't go their, their way, you know, and um, I know that was a big blow to him. You know, he felt like he let his football team down. He felt like he let a program down that he's invested a ton into. Uh, um, you know, I think the response to that is very similar to the very first game he had in the National Football League. You fumble on your very first play and you got two options. Either you can you can fold your tent, sit around and pout about it, or you can get back up and, and go play and, and give everything you have. Um, and he certainly did that. He's done that his entire career here at Toledo. And um, that's just who he is, though. That's a, that's a credit to his, his spirit and his inner drive and, and what makes him great. I think it's almost doubly impressive that he did it in New England on the turf of the reigning Super Bowl champions and one of the greatest teams of our time. If you had just uh, your favorite story, Coach, of Kareem, all four years before, after, what comes to mind? What's your favorite thing about him? Yeah, I, I would just say his his willingness to compete every day at practice. He's the same guy every day. Um, you know, he he's a fun guy to be around. Uh, I mean, he's very competitive. You know, his drive to be successful, um, it's it's contagious to the rest of the team. You know, he's a fun guy to, to joke around with, and to, he's a loose personality. But when it's time to work and do what you need to do to to win a football game, you know, that's the guy you want on your team. Um, you know, I, I could point to a lot of stories, you know, uh, probably most recently is him complaining last year at this time, how he was broke and didn't have any money and, you know, poor Kareem, but, uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore.